The reason I continue gaming is honestly because I think gaming has a unique ability to bring people together. Sherry Lynn is a longtime gamer. Ever since she was a child, she has enjoyed exploring the range of characters and settings that games provide. There's so much to know about every game universe that you can connect with someone that also games like on such a deep level, even if you just met them. As a member of the recently established Cal Women in Gaming, she's also focused on unlocking levels of participation for women to compete, pursue a career, and participate in gaming. As she describes it, the gaming community at Cal is male-dominated. I do know um, a lot of female gamers struggle with um, guys like or just the gaming community in general, like questioning whether or not they're a real gamer. She says these mischaracterizations are a challenge to grapple with, but that the growing esports community at Cal is much more welcoming than other environments. Nearly half of gamers in the United States are female, but there's a stark difference when you take a look at participants in professional esports. Kevin Pond works full time as a Cal Esports program manager under the Division of Student Affairs. The position is one of the first of its kind on a college campus. With regards to better gender representation, he says, there is a growing push for a more inclusive culture. Because esports tries so hard to emulate traditional sports, part of that emulation is this masculinizing effect of you know people in a competitive environment. Through programs like Cal Women in Gaming, increased outreach and better representation, there is hope to redefine what it means to be a student athlete and gamer. A lot of women feel like they have to conceal their identity as women. They're not on the microphone when they're playing. They might not show up to physical events, but they still participate online. Um, and part of that is women not feeling like the space that they're entering is inclusive. And part of that's perception but there's also part of that that's reality, and that's what we're trying to change here. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Tomas Manglonia.